This is a video app review of SuperTube, brought to you by the developer FastCode. Version 1.3 was used for this review. SuperTube is a YouTube viewer similar in function to LazyTube. I will be comparing the two together quite often as they seem to be direct competitors. SuperTube's main difference is that it does have the ability to download videos to your phone for offline viewing. All right, it has all the basic features of a YouTube viewer that you would like. It has the ability to stream 720p and 360p videos as well as download them. Uh, you can there's it's got full search options, but I do want to talk about that in a minute. Supports multi-language. You can log into your YouTube account to view your subscription and favorites. It does do full screen mode, and um, you can like, dislike, and comment on the videos. You can share on Facebook and Twitter. All right, version 1.3 added a custom background, which I'm not really sure where that is. Uh, you can browse the videos with low quality. You can optimize the function of playing the video in high quality in HD with 3G. I am on Wi-Fi for this, just for the record. Shortcut to SuperTube within the U within the Zune Hub, which is uh, pretty basic. All right. When I first load into SuperTube, I'll be honest. Up until the last couple of days, I I didn't really understand what this did. I thought it was broken because you would click on this film and animation, you would click on auto and vehicles, and nothing would happen. But when you go over a couple to most viewed, it is going to give you the most viewed within that category which I can see is definitely handy. And the newest version of LazyTube, I believe 2.2, added that feature. All right, so if we go to gaming, and we go over to most viewed, we're gonna get some gaming related options. Need for Speed, the Run teaser trailer. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once you get that, this is a different screen than uh, say LazyTube because you have a stream or a download option. So if I go to stream, and 720p and there's actually a low quality option there too I rarely see that I'm not gonna go uh, landscape for you but as you can see uh, you can scrub all right it seems to be running okay um, one thing I, I do not like is that that on-screen uh, the on-screen controls don't go away until you click on it. There's no timeout feature. All right, here you can like, dislike, share. If I click on share, here's your options, Facebook, Twitter, SMS, and email. You can favorite it, and you can read the description. You can switch over to related. This is just like LazyTube, author, and then you can also comment. If you go to download, you get the option to download it in 720 or 360. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like to download at 360p. Being on Wi-Fi, it's only five megabytes. Doesn't take terribly long. And this is kind of where a complaint comes in. Because when it does complete here in about mm, five to 10 seconds, you're gonna see it's not like it automatically plays. It's not like it gives you the option to play. 80%. This may be limited by the program because I know my Wi-Fi is pretty quick. All right, 95. And it is done. Now, the, the file disappears because this is the, essentially the download queue screen. So you could have multiples on that list. So there's nothing you can do here. Absolutely nothing. There's a stop button with a pause. Obviously, there's nothing to pause or stop. So I got to go back bringing me to the details page, I can't play it. I gotta go back, bringing me to the most viewed, and then I gotta swipe over to my downloaded and find it in the list, there it is, and now I can view it. Now I gotta click on the screen to make that go away, and there we are. All right, well, let's go back to my downloaded. I've downloaded several videos, and I wanted to show you, this is not gonna show up well in a video, but one of my biggest complaints with this program is the choppiness of 720p. Uh, let me play a 720p video. Uh, I, I have Priest here in 720p, but I've checked on my laptop and the quality of that even in 720p is crap. I was about to blame the software, um, SuperTube, but it's not. So Toy Story 3 is going to be really good. I'll go ahead and make it landscape. So I'll make this go away. 
and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. The problem is, if you look close enough, it's really choppy. The car kind of went vroom, vroom, vroom. Is it the end of the world? No. But if I want 720p video, I want it to be smooth. Especially when I know it can be. Alright. Let's uh, go ahead and get to the brass tacks on this. Positives of this app. The ability to download works. It does. Uh, let me talk just a second about that. You can download more than one video in the background, and I believe you can play a video. You can stream live while it's doing so. The minute you leave the app, of course, it's going to stop downloading. This feature should be fixed once the Mango update comes out and there is background downloading supported. Um, and this program does support uh, download uh, repairing, so if you leave the app, say you were 50% done, it'll pick it back up where it left off when you load the app again, which is convenient. Uh, the full account options are good for your YouTube account. Uh, if I go over to uh, my subscription, there's WM Power User Videos. Favorites, those are my videos, what do you know, and, uh, and it works just fine. Uh, the decent performance is there while navigating within the app, as you can see, and I already mentioned the download resuming. Negatives, obviously, the choppy 720 video, 720p video is going to be a, a stopper for me. Uh, there are illogical user interface options, let me show you. So, I'm under search, and I search for Toy Story. Alright, there is an HD box as well. So, alright, now I want to order by time. I click all, and there's all one day, seven day, one month. One month is below this bar here, and it's unclickable. It, you can't click it. There's just no way you can search by one month on this screen. Now, I have seen other screens where this box is in the center of the screen, so it must just be for while you're searching. But, and as you can see, relevance and all, it's really little. It, I clicked on the search box trying to, trying to click on the relevance. And as you can see here, I, relevance, publish, review count, rating, I can't click on rating. So it definitely needs to be fixed there. The user interface isn't polished, as you can see with the lack of finger friendliness and the unclickable options. There's no landscape support. If I switch this to widescreen, nothing happens. Uh, I'm going to give this app a score of 6 out of 10. The downloading feature is convenient, but if I'm just wanting to browse videos on 3G or Wi-Fi, I'm going to choose LazyTube. 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching. That's all.